good afternoon. Uh, oh yeah, happy Monday, the 6th of April. Hang on one second here. I got a couple of things, a couple of video things going on here. So have you taken control of your day? I was just taking control of one of the phones. I've got two phones going on like usual. And I've uh, been on live a couple of times. Yeah, uh, today is actually the first day that my spouse is laid off, so it's kind of odd. And it's interesting because um, the whole red car syndrome thing happens, you know, when you're, when you think of something, everybody else kind of does too, which is really a good thing. Uh, and here's my point. And one of the reasons I come on here about talking about control, you need to maintain routine. And uh, yeah, we're, you know, human beings are survivors, right? So um, the way we survive is we continue to live. And um, what we also do is we tend to overthink. And when we overthink, we stumble upon ourselves. And I'm talking about things like fear, uh, things like negativity, uh, because we overthink something. And it's a lot easier to go that way, isn't it? It's a lot easier, um, you, know, you know the thing they say, there's plenty of time to sleep when you're dead. It's, it's kind of like that. By nature, we're not really alive, <laughs> you know? You have to, you gotta put effort into life in order for it to thrive. Use it or lose it. There's a ton of different examples of what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is this. We're all in this huge freaking crisis happening. And, you know, you're either gonna be somebody who's paralyzed by it or you're gonna be somebody that kind of sees an opportunity in it. And if you're somewhere in the middle, you wanna maybe decide which direction you wanna go because it's only gonna help us to get out of this sooner. So my gosh. Hold on a second. <laughs> and so, um, sorry about that. I'm back. I have a lot going on. I tend to bring put on uh, too much on my plate, but uh, that doesn't mean I don't get it done. I just gotta slow down, right? So it's always good to be busy. Um, and I think um, I did a live interview with the title officer. And I'm gonna try to do that every day because by promoting other people's businesses and our abilities to work from home and our abilities to do as much as we can virtually is really important. There's a lot of people who can't do that but you come up with ideas of ways that you can um, survive until such time that you can. Because there's, there are, you know, what's unfortunate what's happening is now that we're starting to get um, traffic issues, you know, Instagram, some of the social media platforms are kind of collapsing because there's so many people on it, which is actually a good thing. But can we just boost that up? That would be great. So we're just kind of shifting. And you know, just like with evolution and any other um, uh, change and structure, we adapt. We adapt to our environment. And this has just been a huge shock for everyone to adapt to working inside. Couldn't have done, couldn't have um, done this. I mean, back when, you know, in the, in crises that happened way earlier. In fact, some of us who watch a lot of stuff on, um, on TV, like Outlander that takes place, you know, um, period pieces, there was no technology, there was candles. I start to ask the question, it's like, wow, how do they get so many candles? Well, because candles was a staple item back then. And see, nowadays, a staple item has become, you have to have a computer, you have to have a phone, you have to have all of this, you have to have high-speed internet. And even just 20 years ago, high-speed internet was like a luxury. You had that dial-up modem, so it was probably more like 25 years ago, you know. But, so anyway, so be grateful for the things that we have available to us right now and also just be positive and optimistic about solutions and cooperation. The biggest thing right now is that we're cooperating and staying connected to each other and making stuff happen. But staying busy, staying visible, staying positive, staying just motivating people, especially yourself. If you can muster it, even if you aren't going outside your house, get dressed, put on your belt, your slacks, your shoes, you know, get do your hair, makeup, whatever. I just wish I'd get to a barber. I'm gonna, I've been saying that every day and I haven't come on here with a shaved head yet, but it could happen. Just wait, it could happen. So how are you doing? Are you getting up and taking control of your day? Are you getting up with intention, setting the alarm or setting a schedule? Uh, and then making sure that you list out all of the things that you're grateful for. Huge, huge, huge. And um, right now, things you're grateful for right now, not just in general. Um, and not just, just either. Obviously, you're grateful for your spouse and your, and your, your all of your loved ones, your family, your friends. Uh, grateful for the opportunity and the perspective that we have. Grateful that there's so many people that are willing to help each other out. And, it's, and that's just awesome. It's, it really is. And so um, making new connections, reconnecting with old connections, um, and the list goes on and on. Um, I put more than six items on my list. As a rule of thumb, 
and uh, through s several coaching um, theor um, uh, practices that I've been, um, uh, you know, privy to, it no more than six. You know, you list six things you're grateful for. Or you you list out six things you need to do that day. You prioritize them by the most important, and you get that one done first. At the end of the day, you check these things off, and uh, then you have something to feel like a winner about. Um, most important now, and like they say, um, when we're all stuck together, the two most um, the two most significant outcomes possibly that may come from all of this is divorce and pregnancy. Yeah, you get you get the picture. <laughs> so, um, if you are in a situation where you're stuck together with family members you love but you don't really like that much, or you're just finding it stressful, um, you got to figure out a way to work on that. Communicate. Um, there's lots of resources out there. If you, if you want any ideas, I'm happy to, you know, to make suggestions. So, um, hope you're having a fantastic Monday and the start of a, of a productive week ahead. I know that there's lots of challenges, lots of worries and concerns. Cannot focus on those. Continue to be concerned, but also hopeful. And if you're going to be spreading news, make sure that it's a combination of those two things not just worry and concern. That doesn't do anybody any good. So I always say that, I know, but it's true. So have an awesome day. We'll talk to you again soon. All right, see ya.